All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So today was patch day, and I wanted to cover a few things just because I thought they were important. So one, for all of you endgame players, there's apparently a new lantern in the game that basically allows you to grind for like rare items. Well, it's not rare, but the increased drop rate. So I believe it is the Dekia's Lantern. That's what we're going to try to go for today. Uh, I have the quest. I looked at the patch notes. So basically, these are the two new areas for now. And they're going to expand it through Odalita um, later on. So yeah, I assume that basically from the base one to the Lantern one is just a higher drop rate for Deborekas and items. More trash loot. So hopefully... Everyone going for a Debereka neck, the drop rate is just significantly better. I'm a little nervous because it says 310 AP, 400 DP. The DP is like, you know, just don't get hit. But anyway, 310, who knows how tanky everything is and how much I'm going to get bursted. And then at Olin's, I'm excited because Olin's now dropped Debereka earrings. And yeah, I kind of want to go for that as well as the Rich Merchant Ring piece at some point. So... Yeah, that's pretty cool. But also, a few things I want to talk about in the shop today. One, being the shop Shikatu Splendid Boxes. So, basically, these are 300 million silver each. And you can buy 10 every week. Uh, are they good? Chances are, 99% of you are going to get destroyed. And you're either going to break even with the 3 billion or lose money. And... This event has been around multiple times. I just wanted to let you guys know, is it worth it? For most of you, probably not. But yeah. Also, there's a few things that you guys should get as well. I don't, where is it? It's like 10 silver items. Or not 10 silver, 10 pearls. And I think they're definitely worth getting. So yeah, it's like cron stones and everything. It's at the bottom. So like, just make sure to check that out if you can. And... um. There's a new outfit for Dark Knight, so I kind of wanted to see it. What do you guys think, boys? Is this outfit nice? Do you guys like it? It's for... What what classes are these for? Nova, Kuno, Drac, and Dark Knight. Uh, you know what? Let's just buy it. Let's see. Oh god, I spent 20 bucks on it. Let's see if it's even good. I do not like that. <laughs> I do not like that hat. Hairstyle, the helmet. I think the outfit itself is nice. For all of you guys who have been watching my videos for years, you know exactly how I feel about capes in this game. They all feel kind of stiff. And it's like when you run, it just looks odd. So, yeah, that's the outfit. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down to uh, Odalita because that's where the new lantern comes out or like there's a NPC you talk to. So I kind of wanted to just do that. And let me pull some silver out. And go through the well and save time. But yeah, hopefully all of you guys are going through all your enhancing and stuff already with the horses and everything. Hopefully you guys have been getting some good luck on whatever you're going for. You just go through the well so it's easier. But yeah, I also want to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel lately, whether you're a new person or just uh, returning and you just enjoyed the video. So also, I want to also say thank you for using the code as well. And for all of you who are looking to upgrade your game or just check out the game in general or buy A coins, which are basically the pearls. Um, and for all of you who use my code, I just want to say thank you guys. I do appreciate it. You are really nice and generous. So, yeah, I appreciate it. I don't get a chance to say thank you guys enough. 
Um, okay, so we are going to Odalita. I think the NPC is down by Olin's. If I looked at the patch notes, if we have to craft the lantern um, ourselves, it's going to be like a lot of materials. I think it's roughly about like 1.5 billion silver worth of materials. But by the time you actually get to the point where you need that lantern, like 1.5 is irrelevant, so... Me with a 10, 11, or 12. Or not. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go to Olin's. I made sure to mark the NPC. Oh yeah, they also added Debereka earrings to the boss splits at Calamity 6 or higher, so... Dang. One thing I want to show you guys, look, I did this for the meme last week. The Gumiho boss. I just wanted to see how fast I could do it at rank Calamity 1, which is basically no mechanics. Apparently I am number one, that's cool. <laughs> I did, I like, I think people are literally not meeting the damage skip. To the point where it's actually a Calamity 1 taking this time. So, just do more damage and it dies. <laughs> I know that's a meme, but I don't know. I think I just like bursted through a phase or two. But I'm not sure why, like, even at rank 3, it's what, one minute weird. Uh, Olin's. It's been a while since I've been to Olin's Valley, to be honest. Quite honestly, this place be scary. Where is this taking me? There is no shot it wants me to go. Okay, so I have to go up. Uh, leave me alone. I wish they made a solo Olin spot. That would be pretty cool. I think what they would just have to do is nerf the amount of health and then it should be good. Oh yeah, you know one thing that uh, I read in the patch notes? Apparently you can't do this quest on a dark night if you haven't done the Odalita quest, but every other class can. Hmm, wild. I mean, I've done it, but wild. So this is the NPC you talk to, and she basically gives you the quest for the lantern. And I believe you have to craft it. Our spammer. I remember you have to be here at one point for the main quest line, and there's a lot of knowledge here. Okay, so we got the knowledge. Now we have to observe the charged lantern. Oh, apparently they just give it to you for free once? I thought you would have to craft it. Okay. Um. So basically this allows you to go to currently Olin's and Ash Forest 
And instead of fighting the normal enemies, you get like buffed enemies, which make it harder, but the drop rates are higher. Okay, so let me see how this actually works. You heat yellow accessories and it gives you some time on your lantern. So do you... I don't want to use it. I just want to... Before I do this, I want to make sure that, like... Oh, it's already a full durability. Okay, cool. I wish they had an inventory at, like... You know how they have the Liana's tool bag? They really just need to make, like, a separate tab for all these, like, actual items that people use on a regular or allow you to put it in your family inventory. Okay, so you, this is not an equipable item. I wonder how bad Ash Forest is. Like, so we currently have an event where if you grind and die for the next two weeks, you don't lose crystals, which is a fantastic thing. But... I don't know, losing... <laughs> if I were to lose this gear in this tier, I would actually be so upset because it's so hard to get. Like, yeah, 5 billion is a lot, but at the same time, just not being able to rebuy it is the hardest thing. Um, okay, so... Let's see. Do I want to go to Ash Forest? Not really. But... Yeah, that's really kind of all I wanted to talk about in this video. New, the new Pearl Shop stuff that came out, getting the new Lantern. We'll try this in the future, and I'll make some videos of it. But for now, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.